Welcome to Heartlink. It's January the 18th. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm nearing about the middle of my walk. Got on my Kevlar vest. <laughs> That's what it looks like anyway, huh? But I've got on my X vest, 20 pounds, walking uphill, 10 degree incline. Right now on a speed of about 2.5 miles per hour. We've cranked it down some so that we can talk to you for a minute. Hey, this is 2012. Everything that happened to me last year is behind me, and I've got to look forward to what lies ahead. And I am looking forward to it. I hope you are too. I believe we haven't seen our best days yet. I've had some pretty good days behind me, but it's behind me. One of the stories in the good book that I enjoy, I love to think about, is the one about Lot and his wife. They were told to get out of that city, Sodom and Gomorrah, before it burned down. And certainly they paid heed to what the angel told them. And as they left that burning city, they were instructed not to turn back, not to look back. Because if they look back, they die. And old Lot, he just kept going. He didn't look back. But his poor wife did. She turned around looked back at that burning city. And she was turned to a pillar of salt. Just frozen there for eternity, huh? So where are you at today, my friend? Are you looking back? Are you looking back behind you? Are you looking at the mistakes that were made? Are you going through some tough times and you're looking backwards towards better days, times that gave you pleasure and gave you enjoyment and you, because you're not happy with where you are today? You think all the blessings are behind you and they're not up ahead of you? Well, hey, they are. We don't need to look backward. Maybe look backward and learn from some things. Learn from su some successes. Learn from some failures. You know, failures truly aren't failures if we learn from them. They're those things that mold us and make us into what we are and what we will be. You know, gold, once it's put to the fire and all the dross is gone, it doesn't need to be put to the fire anymore. Maybe in your past you were put to the test. You're gold, my friend. You are gold. Maybe you were put in the fire. Maybe it was painful. Maybe it wasn't an experience you enjoyed. But now the dross is gone. It's 2012. And you're shiny. We can do this together. I'm telling you, when you're out of breath, it's hard to keep a coherent thought. Last year I planned on doing heart links. I planned on getting my exercise. I planned on running a business. I planned on teaching. I planned on doing lesson plans. I planned on doing a lot of things. And as there were surprises and life get, got in the way, all kind of challenges got in my way, I laid some of the things down that I wanted to do so bad. And I focused on all the things that were less important than what I'm focusing on today. I'm not making excuses. Hey, I can do heart link, and I can get my exercise in. I can do a lesson plan while I'm listening to books on tape. I can do this this year because I want to. I'm going to work hard so that I can play hard. I'm going to get this body fat off so that the next time I go to the beach, I can get up while the beach is full. You know, everybody's out there, crowded beach. And I can get up and make a noise and start to take my shirt off. Show these new abs. <laughs> I'm halfway kidding, not kidding, not really. I would love to walk down the beach feeling good about myself, feeling confident. What about you? If you feel good about yourself, it makes the good times that much more enjoyable. But if you don't feel good about yourself, you can't enjoy the good times. And when you go through bad times, it makes them even worse. Get up! I love Rocky II. In Rocky II, Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Balboa, he's at his wife's bedside. She didn't want him mixing it up with Creed. And he knew that, so when she was in her coma, he just couldn't find inspiration for training. But she finally woke up, and he leaned over by her bedside, and he said, Baby, if you don't want me mixing it up with Creed, I won't mix it up with Creed no more. I'll just quit. <laughs> Sound like me last year. i just quit. Nobody wants me to keep going. i just quit. Even though I'm a fighter, that's what I do. I just quit. And I love what Adrian did. She leaned over. She said, Rocky, come here. 
Sound like while she was in that coma, she'd been doing some soul searching too, huh? And he said, whoa. And she said, come here, get a little closer to me, come here. He leaned in a little closer and he said, what is it? And then all of a sudden, the agent said, just one thing I want you to do, Rocky. He said, what? And she said, I want you to win. And the Rocky music goes off, y'all know the story. And old Mickey, his trainer, was sitting over there in the corner. He'd been waiting for Rocky to train and get to, get that fire back on the inside. And he looked as the music went off. He said, what are we waiting for? What are you waiting for today? Come on, let's get up. Let's do this. Let's go. Woo, got a lot of responsibilities. And I aim on being responsible and living my values in 2012. I love you. If you've been knocked down, get up. Because Rocky loves you. What are you waiting for? Find that Rocky on the inside of you. Let's do this this year. I'm going to end 2012 stronger than I started it this year. It's only about an hour out of my day. Come on, I'm already in efficient fat burning. Let's burn some booty. I love y'all. You're my Thrive family. Thank you for seeing me through some tough times. I want to see you through some. Let's go. Let's get it.